from the local station, the 10 o'clock news starts now. Biggest local upset in tonight's Florida primary. Former Clay County Sheriff Daryl Daniels loses his re-election bid to fellow Republican Michelle Cook. You're looking at the numbers right there. Michelle Cook winning by just over 3,000 votes. Cook's supporters overjoyed by her victory. Thank you all for this wonderful opportunity. And I promise I'm going to be a sheriff that you can be proud of. Thank you. Michelle Cook's win is just one of the major primary races the News for Jack's team is tracking this evening. The results from today's races are scrolling right now at the bottom of your screen. Yeah, and uh, we're also guiding you through what comes next. Our team is spread across multiple counties tonight with the results and in-depth analysis on what voters need to keep in mind as we turn our attention to the November general election. Let's start with Scott Johnson live in Clay County. And Scott, what's the mood at Michelle Cook's gathering? The mood is exciting here, Ken, but we're getting some details from Daryl Daniels I'll get to in a moment that could prove to be some rocky times ahead during this transition. Let's start here with where the mood is jubilant here at Whitey's Fish Camp, kind of in the Middleburg Fleming Island area where the party is finally wrapping up for Michelle Cook after she comes out and wins a six-person race, which beating... Daryl Daniels, after he is arrested and removed from office four or five days ago, Daniels still came in a close second. We talked to Michelle Cook tonight. She said she's excited. She's ready to go to work in January. It's now official. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just excited about this opportunity to serve my home county. Thankful for all the volunteers that uh, have worked over the past, you know, eight months, almost nine months out every day working. So just wonderful opportunity. And thank you to the citizens of Clay County for believing in me. Embattled Sheriff Daryl Daniels is not going away quietly. Just minutes ago, I received this statement from his campaign about what's happened over the last week. The, these politically motivated charges that have been made against Sheriff Daniels and announced right before the election combined with dirty politics from other campaigns by closing the election through recruiting a write-in candidate resulted in more than 10,000 Clay County voters not casting a vote in the race for sheriff. This resulted in the electing of a St. John's County resident pointing at Cook, to now serve as the likely sheriff. Sheriff Daniels appreciates the support of the voters of Clay County and is calling for a review of this travesty that was committed on Clay County voters. So apparently it looks like he wants to fight this in some fashion. We will have to see where that goes from here. And he's pointing to a write-in candidate. There was a write-in candidate put on the ballot, which essentially closed the primary, meaning only Republicans could vote in this race. And there's a write-in candidate that Michelle Cook will run against in November. She's expected to win and become sheriff in January. We will be monitoring this development very closely. For now, we're live in Clay County. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thank you, Scott. So who is Michelle Cook? She's a lifelong resident of Northeast Florida. She grew up in Green Cove Springs. She went to Clay High School. Cook has a master's degree in criminal justice from UNF. And uh, she stepped down as police chief of Atlantic Beach in order to run for Clay County Sheriff. Cook served with JSO for 27 years. She had uh, positions in SWAT, intelligence, narcotics, and other roles. 